se vocês tiverem alguma pergunta em português, é, eu vou fazer o máximo que eu posso para responder. E muito obrigada por estar seguindo a gente nessa expedição. Thank you. 12. That's wonderful. Trip number 12. All right, so uh, Lynette, can I ask uh, how far away is 6B and then 8A? Yeah, 6B is about 300 meters, and from there, 8A is another 320 meters. Okay. Our ship move is only 0.1 knots right now. Um, we can definitely speed that up. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we're pretty full with samples anyway, so I don't think I'll be sampling a whole lot until the end of the uh, end of the dive, really. Okay. Which has to be, I think, in about two hours. So you can tell us more precisely from if we do make it to 8A, how long it will take us to get to the surface, uh, something like two hours. Sure, yep. And then uh, I'm not sure at you know, 0.2 knots if we can even get there, but uh, we'll try. Right, okay. I'll have them speed up a bit. Can we zoom now. out, panels? Thank you. Can we increase speed 0.2 knots, please? Thank you. Could even go 0.3 if you're feeling crazy. <laughs> and it would be kind of um, good to, I don't know how uh, this like ridge feature is that we're on. We're sort of on the side of it. So I think it rises up to our right. Maybe we can um, try to kind of go back and forth, sort of crisscrossing across the ridge. So we look at um, one side and look at the other as we kind of progress along. Yeah, sure. Sure. This would be a little slower, but that's doable. <coughs> You want yeah. us to uh, meander. Meander, yeah. That's what it is. We can meander. A random walk. What's the depth of the summit? Um, 2,400 meters. Oh, wait, sorry. Looking at the wrong thing. 2,100 meters. And the last watch got us to the top of the seamount, right? Is that correct? Th they did. We just kind of came off a little localized high spot, and we dropped it back down a little bit. But um, we're going to stay on the summit of this guy the whole time. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, take a look at the coral on the right, please. One that's in frame. The little there. stocky one, yeah. Okay. Just give me a second here. The uh, Atalanta got pulled around there. Sure. Actually, you can zoom, Panos, if you like. Like I think you got enough, uh, a little bit of tether if you want to get down on that a little bit. Roger that. How is your coral identification going? <laughs> Getting slowly better. Is From Noah? Is that a problem? Yeah, I was, that's what I was going to say. Maybe? <laughs> yeah. Let's is it unbranched or branched? No, it's a bamboo coral. Bamboo. Oh. Hi, Isa, what, what tells you what type of coral that is? How can you see that? I think in this one, if you see the base of their stem, there is a nodal there. Um, I don't know if you can see here. So this is very one of the characteristics that um, we can identify the cross morphology of bamboo in situ. I have impression here. Oh, we got some biscuits, I see. Oh, yeah. I always forget we have those. Okay, good on the zoom, I think. Uh, let us know if there's <coughs> anything else you're interested in taking a close look at. Is that the, the amount that we were looking at? 4K, 400 on the ground fault? Yeah, we we can see a few colonies. 
They look like the same bamboos. Oh, I don't know if you know. This one might be different. It is. Yes. Anything you want to zoom on? Sorry, is there something you wanted to see? Is that a C pen? Uh, in front of us? That would be wonderful. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, ask them to zoom on. Yeah. It was upside down. Yeah. It's quite distant now. It was. The, that is, uh, no. This one. Um, is, I'm not sure. Do how you see the telestrator, James? Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, I was talking to Lynette. Okay. Um, yes, uh, it's, right, it's in the lasers, right? Yeah, if you, what you guys can want to just see? because it looks like here there is some association yeah. in our left side. Do you want to see, the left side? Yeah. see that instead? Looks like a sea star maybe. Probably yeah, but well, let's... I'll try to give you some extra tether a little. By sure, please. Come on down. I think I'm still within my safe ranges. Yeah, whenever you guys are ready for Zooms, James, you can call it out and uh, and then. Do you want to see this yeah. little red thing or the? Uh, the sea star, the sea star on the coral. It looks like it's uh, predating on the coral. All right, All right. is that panel so you can start to zoom? Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> we have a comment in the chat that says, when will you start to sell those t-shirts that say zoom in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can really see the yeah, it looks big. Yeah. yeah, it's eaten everything, all the polyps <laughs> on the lower part, probably. Wow. This is the second sea star we've seen eating something, huh? That's really cool. And an ophiroid? Like yeah. Looks like gymnastics to me. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Balance beam act. <laughs> <laughs> There's some brittle stars on there, too. It's hard to see uh, the underside, obviously, um, but it's probably got its stomach distended to um, do the predation. Oh, that's always a cool sight. Jumping away. There's any other association there, but it you come wide could, for a sec, Panos. But that's great. This Thank is you. Yep. Just gonna, uh, get us a little closer. A little more stable. Yeah, keep keep uh, keep on trucking. Uh, we'll just call out stuff to zoom in on as we go. Roger that. We have a question in the chat. Uh, Three-year-old is asking, "What does the rock look like when you pick it up?" Does anyone want to talk about some of the rocks that we've seen? Yeah, we have a, a good collection of rocks from the last dive. Um, they they when we pick them up, uh, they look like large, heavy, dense black rocks. <laughs> basically <laughs> uh, they uh, have interesting structures on them uh, this boy I can't I can never say a boy uh texture that is from the ferromanganese crusts uh, so it looks like a lot of little lumps um, but it also looks uh, sort of polished it's very very smooth at least on the uh, samples that we get with the ferromanganese crusts um, I know a three-year-old probably can't understand what I'm saying, but um, <laughs> they're basically heavy, like uh, softball size or basketball sized rocks. And then we cut them open and uh, they look really cool inside. Yeah, so I think the exciting part is not only what do they look like when we grab them, but what do they look like when we cut them open as well. Yeah. Uh, just to add here, uh, Steve was mentioned that the ID for the, the star, the sea star is Pasterias. Nice. So it is bamboo coral? It is bamboo coral, but the, the sea the stars, uh, the, the, uh, the genus looks like it's Hippasterias. This is kind of cool. Glass of sponge in the front. What's over there on the right? It looks like a stalk. As far as looks like in what I was seeing previously. There is a uh, kind of few species here, um, few specimens, maybe the same species or not, uh, of bamboo coral. But uh, we also have in the left side a uh, glass sponge. 
hey, Nav, um, paddles, what are you like? It seems like Argus is sort of, the current's pushing it north, so it's kind of off the crest of the summit. Yeah, so if works. we could bias our track a little bit south, maybe pull Argus back up to the top of the ridge. Yeah, sure. Not Argus, sorry, Argus. Atalanta. Yeah, I put in a move um, 115, but we can go even more south. Than yeah. Appears to be a, is that coral dead? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, Give me a second here, one. sorry. Yeah, if you can Getting tugged in. around. You can zoom, Panos. Is that a brittle star on the top? Yeah. Yeah, but they stalk. Um, doesn't. We'll know if it makes a, br a break for it. Uh huh. <sighs> I wish I had my drum set here so okay. I could play. Actually, I will do something here. It's okay, hold it there. This is talk. We we are not sure what could be. It looks like it's covered by hydroids, maybe. Yeah, James, we're interested in a coral. It's if you zoom out a little zoom bit, out. Panos, um, to the right, to a the little right. bit. Okay. Do you want to mark it again? Okay. A lot of rain snow over here. Can you zoom in, pause? Another ophorite. Yeah. Branching. Is that a symbiotic relationship or is it eating the coral? Uh, the brittle stars, uh, it, I, I don't know if I'd call it symbiotic, but uh, the brittle stars take advantage of the, um, the corals to get up and in, into the water column. So the brind brittle stars benefit, but the coral does not? The brittle star what? The brittle star will benefit from that, but the coral. Yeah, I'm not on. sure. I don't. I don't think it does, but. Um, oh, what's that? I don't understand it, it at all. Does, does oh it look yeah. Like they, they're, they're not predating on it. It's different of the the sea stars. Uh, brittle stars looks like that is a type of. Um, it, it's very. We, we know very little about the associations in the deep sea, unfortunately. But as far as our understand is that uh, bridge stars, they, they use, have a different type of association that's not predatory, it's more to be higher in the colon, water colon, and manage to... to, to. Steve says yes, it's uh, thought to be commensal symbiosis. It's tough to see some of these corals. They're they're everywhere. They sort of blend in with the color of the sediment. Mm, this is the mass move zone we can see. Steve, do you think this is uh, this coral will be a premium noise or I have to go to our guide. So by commensal, we're saying that it's living in close association so that it benefits without harming the other. Right. Hmm. At one point, Aisa, I thought you had pointed out another small coral in between those two possible primnoids. Is that something you were looking at too? Kind of like a more of a bottle rush, very fine, yeah. fine branch. Yeah, the I, I can find it. It's now. tough to see. Yeah. It was sort of bent over. Yes, I don't, I can't see now. It was in between the two um, branched corals. Is that zoomed all the way in? Coral, um, 
it's very hard to see here, right? Yeah. Right it's where the, the right between the two, yeah. Yeah, is there possible to zoom more than that? For me, it could uh, be a, a small colony of black coral there. Zoom out, please. É, para quem estiver escutando em, em português, é, a gente está numa área que tem vários é, corais bambu e a gente está vendo algumas associações com com é, just getting a better angle on the hill. We can go back in and take another look at these if, if you'd like, or we can continue on. I think we're okay to continue. Okay, thank you. Are you able to get good grabs? Yep. Okay. As, as good as I could get with them yep. blending into the background. Can we turn the... Uh, Moving away from some of the rocks, it looks like. Oh, there go the rocks. So here it looks like we change a little bit the substrate. Yeah. And probably we are going to see a, a shift as well. In Mostly interested in rocks, obviously, so if you want to uh, kick up the speed a little bit, that's fine with me, and we can check our scanning sonars for potential uh, outcrops. Okay. Boy, there's nothing on the sonar now, is there? Not much. What did we get for push cores? We have two push cores. Um, one of the push core handles is broken, so we have two possible push cores left. another. I think we're 23 now. Yep. 20. Oh, that's a nice one too. Ooh, that's let's nice capture one. that. It's a very Ooh. strong color. It's beautiful. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm paying out a little bit, Mike. Thank you. It's all good. On the hunt for sea pens. Of course. It looks uh, like there might course. be some of those designs that the acorn worms were making in the in the um, seafloor, right? Nothing but sand. Look at these. Well, there is some bioturbation that's really clear mm -hmm. pattern here. Is yeah, look at same? those. Yeah. Very squiggly. We saw those around the acorn worms last time, right? Exactly. Could be as well here. Holothurian, probably. It's quite down. What makes these tracks in the sand? We were just hypothesizing that. Um, yeah, Dwight yeah. had said a holothurian, which is a sea cucumber of sorts. Mm -hmm. That looks like sea cucumber, like the the dot. The oh, dots. you mean the track? The track at the bottom. I don't think it's tracks. I think it's what they excrete. Yeah. Oh. 
I would agree with that. There's a couple of uh, item of interest, maybe. How high? Okay, I'll say two meters. Yeah, 1.8. I can come down a little bit. Uh, we have a good question in the chat, but I think we, we've been discussing this. So this is an ongoing, well, we've been discussing what is our favorite highlight from Johnston, but this question is, if you could be a deep sea creature, what would it be? <laughs> so you might yeah. want to take that one away. Oh. I love these kinds of questions. Megalodon. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think I would be a sea sponge. Maybe an anglerfish, but not the male kind. <laughs> they kind of get the short end of the stick. <laughs> uh, we had an anglerfish come up on a lander once. It was very anticlimactic. It was like two centimeters long. Oh. <laughs> it looked really cool in the camera, though. It was like, yeah. With a, uh, a little bit of zoom, anything can. Let's see. What kind of feet see? Creature. So not just limited to Johnston at all, like our Instagram poll. Oh, okay, there's two. Uh, I would do some sort of octopus. You know, maybe a double octopus, but like depending oh. on where you want to go. Because uh, it just seems like fun, you know. Something up ahead. And then uh, the other one that I'm having trouble with is like, I forgot the, I don't know their names, but they're basically like the... the uh, they hang around vents. They're the, the like the two berms, the ones that uh, they have like iron shells. Hmm. Yeah, Shell they're, like, they're like sea snails, but they have like iron 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 shells hmm. because they're so close to the vents. Interesting. There's a shrimp over there on the right. Oh, yeah. I think shrimp. Another shrimp. This is more interesting. Though. What is this? Yeah, look at this little isolated 24. rock here with a coral on it. Uh, looks like a little island. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's take a zoom here for sure. Zoom in, Panos, if you'd like. I'll slowly move forward. We're just pulling at Atlantis. So. You say black coral, Haisa? I believe it is. But Didn't we see that yesterday? Yeah. What is this rock doing here? Hmm. Did we see that it's last fantastic, night? It's fantastic because we saw it. Uh, but similar did we see that something we like this last night? Just like stone. isolated. <laughs> no. Black coral. We have a black coral as well. Maybe, right? Was it on this particular looking rock? Mm -hmm. Maybe. But. Want to see the pinnels to see? Yep. Can we zoom out tree. for a sec, Miles? Is that a black coral? That's a black coral, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna sit down in front of it, and then we'll get some good zooms. It is a it is an island with a palm tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like a lovely Shiny. little place to live. <laughs> but it's fantastic <laughs> to see if there is any hard substrate, and uh, you know more stable, available. Yeah, if you want to nudge this rock, I'd be very curious to see if it's loose. I don't want to collect it, but um, okay. see if it's loose. You All think right. maybe it broke but off? Stay wide, somewhere? please, panel, so I'm gonna get closer. Sure. Uh, I don't know, I'm a little perplexed by it. It's um, kind of seems to be out in the middle of nowhere, huh? Yeah. It looks like a similar type of basaltic rock that we've been seeing, but um, there's not a lot of these around here and it's in the middle of this sand field um, but there could be rocks buried here all over yeah yeah that was my, my next question like you know what would kind of uh, would cause a uh, rock to be out here out in the middle of the sand away from other big rocks we have the scientific name for the iron snail in the chat and I am not gonna be able to do that one <laughs> <laughs> spell it chrysomalin squamiferum Back from online from Epic. What? <laughs> oh, we've, we've got a nice comment here. This is the only true content left on the internet. Thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to call it punk rocks now. Oh, somebody's saying that the, the rock, um, the coral on the rock looks like the Charlie, Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh, no, it's farther than it looks. Might have to move up. Jane, we have a we have another great question here. Um, if the water were warmer, would life be more prevalent? And what is the limiting factor of keeping populations from thriving? Well, that's an interesting question indeed. Um, 
Can you say that one more time? I, I heard the first part. Sure. What would be different if the oh, temperature was warmer? Oh. Yeah, yeah it's pretty too big to collect, but it is loose, huh? It's definitely loose. It's possible she's We can hold on to it. <laughs> as we go. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I Give think the we'll coral see. ride of his life. I think we'll see others. Um, we have another arm. You know. <laughs> we could, yeah, we could do that on the way up and hold it in place on the porch or something, but um, I don't, uh, that's okay. We're, we're, we're going to try to work our way across the summit a little more and maybe we'll decide to pick one up later. But I was just curious if it was loose. Before you go, it's possible to zoom again in the black coral, please? Atalanta's catching up. Yeah, that's good. We were way ahead of it, so let it do its thing. Uh, yes, zoom in. Just give me a second here. We'll do that. Go ahead, Bonos. Can really see it that wasn't very strong that actually black skeleton in the center broke it apart yeah hope she insurance would cover it i can see only is that max zoom two rows of uh, pinnels, um. do we think this might be a juvenile one like we saw last night no. i wouldn't risk like to to guess the, the <laughs> age you know because we we're still not sure that that's really brilliant. That's great, thank you. Let me know when you guys are happy to move on or we can take a push core or while we're sitting here. Just an idea. Yeah, since we're since we're sit down, why not? Let's grab one. Do we have enough? Uh, do we have to stop the ship or no? I'd rather not stop the ship. Yeah, it's getting close. If we if you don't want to stop the ship, then we should. Yeah, move to let's another let's keep going. Okay, all right. Let's zoom out, panels, please. Okay. So Ashley, back to that question that you had just said. It was the question was yeah the the um, the first question was about if the water were warmer, would life be more prevalent? So in the deep sea, um, right now we're hovering around two degrees Celsius centigrade. Um, the deep sea is interesting because what is really limiting is the supply of food and you know what's that nutrients to the organisms that live down there. Oh. And so actually at higher temperatures, you actually have um, higher metabolic demand that has to be met. And so you would need to consume more oxygen and you'd have to have more food in order to keep up with that demand for many species. That so, doesn't make sense. Yeah, but it, I mean, unfortunately, we may end up seeing what happens when the deep sea is a little bit warmer in years yeah. to come. Actually, the Sea sponge, right? Sponge on a, another isolated rock? Yeah, it looks like that. Interesting. Now that looks like a pen. <laughs> <laughs> the old it does. Feather pen. Quill. <laughs> yeah. Quill. That's the word I was looking for. In, a, in an inkwell. <laughs> now all we need is our sea pen. <laughs> what is it trying to say? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in the chat, they are discussing about the idea of the black coral. If it like, could be apparent parties or heteropathies. Uh, and there is a bit more inclination for parent parts, but the, the, the thing is, the species like um, like lily parts, sibo parts, parent parts, they kind of uh, overlapping their pinnulation characteristics. So sometimes um, it can be quite uh, tricky to, to identify if you don't have this specimen. Let's, let's try to zoom at the, on the base of this, please. Sure, go ahead, Bonos. It's not really on a rock, is it? Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. What is going on on there? They have threads. Remember that? Yeah. So not the peduncle? So threads. Not the peduncle. As many times as we can say. It's going to get old really fast. Look at all the stuff that's in there. Yeah, look at that. Until you find the umbelula. Little ophiroids. Oh, yeah. Almost like 
microbial mat e yeah. shrimp. So oh, did we have another shrimp? Is that a worm also in the kind of the foreground and on the left side? What are the, are oh, those yeah. are those no, shrimps? I think they're shrimp. It looks I see. Like a, uh, Oh, I see, like I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I could think I could see the legs a little bit. And cause most of these sponges, they use um, kind of mucus and um, a little bit of speckles to to attach themselves in a hard substrate. Mm -hmm. And this one, they have threads, so they c they manage to anchor them in a more soft substrate. That's a really cool image That's there. really cool. Can you get closer? Need to find the Can you get closer? Is that oh, cool? yes, yeah. Was that, can we is that, is that a full zoom? Is that a full zoom? Is that full zoom? I don't mean to move, I'm just asking. Yes, it full zoom. yes we, yeah, we definitely. Kind of interesting. If we want a closer look, we can definitely do I that. I like the way the sponge look. it's very, looks like a, has like a cactus shape. It is, yeah. I like succulents. Succulents are probably one of my favorites. So <laughs> I'm already attached to this. <laughs> I want to know its story. Steve says this is in the genus Ferronomatidae. Not sure if Polyopagon species possible. You can zoom, Panos. And uh, Steve also was given the correct name for the threads, like to be glass fibers. Look. It's amazing it's uh, able to s sit upright like it is on the sediment. Wow. Yeah. It almost looks like plaster on the yeah, sponge yeah, yeah. itself. It, it, like it looks like it's a cast. Like so wire plaster. Uh, the threads it? are actually going underneath the sand. It looks like it's going back What is it, like drywall? Yeah. Well, <laughs> like a drywall spot. You know, when you the yeah, drywall you missed the spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, no. I punched the wall again. <laughs> plaster it up. Look at them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think I count. Eight, nine, twelve. What's this? Is that a snail? That is a small brown circle. <laughs> <laughs> and different types of uh, brittle stars, too. Well, different color one, two, three, ones, anyway. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a little thing here, too. Ten, maybe? I was wondering about that little, yeah. it almost looks like an, an anemone, anemone almost, yeah, could be. Like Hard to see, we need more zoom. The thing in the grass? <laughs> <laughs> I can, oh, I can get closer. Oh, no, you good. Still but three or four I feet think away. we're okay. This is great though. Let's see if we can change the color, I mean, the, not the color, the light on the, uh, on the clops. If you want. So a very good example of how even a single organism can provide a lot of habitat oh, yeah. for Are you able to get some species. Could you take pictures off of the that? triclops? It's no. not uh, working, fortunately. Oh, it's not. Um, I can, uh, here. Lila mentioned that she's going to check with um, Tim. Okay. Sorry, I think I'm going to put I it in the center I of the triclops. I think, and we're, I'll I think we're good. We don't have the triclops uh, stills working right now, unfortunately. Uh, ah, okay. What's, what is this? Is that there just the regular still cam? Um, I think that is the clubs. Um, right, anyway, uh, Argus is, is better passing now? us, so we should is probably get going. Is this yeah. Two, the red dot? She doesn't know why you like, like that? Oh. I'm not sure. I didn't get trained on it. James, I'm full out. Actually, if we could, Steve recommends potentially getting a small sample of the sponge. Where are we going to put it? We have some open bio boxes, and we have some bio boxes that have only rocks in them on the starboard. Okay. Uh, we would need to. Yeah, we'll need to move the ship back. I could come down, and give you slack, but you would have to come around to the other side to give you more time. So I'm not pulling you. Right. Okay. But we, we could do, do that right? if we do it quick. If we That's land on the other side real quick, yeah. Bridge now. Can we have five zero meters west, please? Thank you. But now that I'm down, I can get down a bit. You're probably good right there. 
Just go on in. Lynette, we have a question in the chat. How do you determine the position of Hercules in relation to, to the ship? Um, yeah, so we have a couple of methods for knowing where the vehicles are subsea. Um, we rely on a USBL, uh, which stands for Ultra Short Baseline. It's an acoustic instrument. Uh, we have a transceiver mounted to the hull of the ship. And we have beacons mounted on both Hercules and Atalanta. So we send an electrical signal uh, through the tether, through the cable, to both Hercules and Atalanta to tell it to um, trigger their beacons so they emit an acoustic pulse. And then the transceiver that's mounted to the ship listens for that um, and can determine a range and a bearing for the vehicle's subsea. Um, so we use that, and then Hercules also has a DVL, a Doppler velocity log, um, to help determine its position as well. Um, and that's another acoustic instrument that utilizes the Doppler effect um, to determine the direction and speed that Hercules is moving. Thank you. Yeah. You're going to try to just take one off the top here? Yeah. Okay. And we're can we zoom out all the way, please? Let's make sure we it's can all the fit way it up. in. Uh, where we, we have. Um, it is I'd like to save that for yeah. rocks, yeah. but yeah. we can put it in there too. The put them both in there, maybe. We could put it on top of any of these other ones. Okay. You might start to get depending on how big it is soon. We are pretty full in the but forward bio boxes. A snip, and then we can always. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't use a lot of grip force either. Uh, this might be really uh, sort of fragile. Or try not, try not to. Anyway, I guess. Maybe like a like a like a seven or something. Well, it didn't even work on six, so well, there's eight's okay. Let's tr not spend too much time here, but let's try seven. No, seven won't work. So eight it is. Okay. How much? Yeah, uh, just the top. That, that looks pretty good. Okay. It's too much. <laughs> so there we go. I think you got it. Nice. Yeah, right. good job. Nice. Now you can like bring it into the porch. And this, I think we might put it in starboard side. Okay. You we can put it on top of around, eh? one of the rocks from earlier. So, you just trying to the, see. Are we doing it now, or you want to move? Let's it just do it, it quickly. Copy. Okay. Um, which uh, which box? Let's go A. Starboard A. Uh, let me know when you want me to bring it out. I uh, bring it out. Yeah, no waste any time. I'll uh, give me a second. <laughs> oh Jesus! Whoa. There's a huge rock. Uh, and whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on a second. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's, I right think right? A would be okay uh, because it's. Wow. Do you need thrusters? You need more? Off. Do you think that's going to float? Uh, yeah. You want to hold and then prepare for me to turn off the okay. suburb yeah. burp? I can't really see A. Is that the closest one? The small I box is ABC? Yeah. Yes. I right. would need to have to open up a bit more. Where'd it go? Uh, system? No. No, no. There's thrusters. There you go. I'm turning about the. I'm gonna turn off starboard vert. Okay. Prepare to. Go ahead. Uh, 
Come on. Turn it off. There you go. And then I can bump out a little bit more. If that one is tough, any of the smaller starboard boxes should be okay. That one is a little tough, but um, on up. Data, what sample number is that? Uh, I see what happened. That's 41. 41, thank you. Yep. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Can't quite get it into A. B is okay as well. We don't have anything in there. We were hoping to put a rock someplace there where there isn't a rock. So right. you could also let's see, coral associate. I think go for B if it's easiest. Oh no! Oh, no. oh dear! Not easy. <laughs> float back. Float back. A little thruster push. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to go into A. Tip it's up in there. <laughs> Come on. You have this yeah. camera too. Yeah, I'm, I'm look okay. that's what I'm looking at actually. Nice, nice, nice. Hey. Awesome. How about that? I love That's that. That's awesome. Well By done. design. Nice job. <laughs> it was intentional. <laughs> 100%. All right, close that quickly. <laughs> yeah. It's an awkward spot. Well, with a Galileo dive. Did you see that? Oh, the Galileo dive. Good sponge, good sponge. That is a big rock. That's a very tall sponge. We have some greetings for the 12 to 4 watch, asking how much longer we'll be on the bottom. And I think we said we were going to do one more hour, right? Yeah, we have about an hour and 15 minutes or so, I think. Yeah. We're at a depth of 2,155 meters, a small isolated peak seamount southeast of Johnston Atoll. Sometimes, okay. Um, we're going here. And then we were. Yeah, we're gonna try. Let's do a move here, if we can, and we'll keep heading towards six B. But I, I like being on this sort of south side of the summit. Roger. Sure. We have a question about the several small black things swimming at the base of that sponge. Can you all remind me what was down there? Those were some ophiroids, so brittle stars. Uh, we saw a couple of shrimp and some smaller unidentified um, fauna that were a little too hard to see without um, super zoom. A few question marks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just gonna zip up ahead here and get ahead of Atalanta and back to our preferred orientation. What's that up ahead? There's something there. Yeah, looks like a rock. Out of the rock. Actually, I saw quite a bit in uh, Atalanta. Yeah, it's coming up, eh? Huh, they didn't show up in sonar at all. Little rock garden. Oh, uh, yeah, because uh, too high. high. Yeah. yeah, but I saw it in the camera, and I wasn't sure. All right, cool. Yeah, check this little patch out. Do you want to zoom? Yes, yeah, go ahead, Panos. Sorry, I'm used to, uh, I used to call on it. I'll get there. Oh. Okay. Uh, hold on one second cool. there, Panos. Can you zoom out a little bit? I'm gonna get closer, and then we'll, uh, we'll get a better, uh, better view. Is that a quarrel? Yeah, I think so. It is. Try to look at a polyp. I would like to see the base as well, because usually sometimes... Okay, go ahead, Panos. Do we want to look at the top or the, the base? Uh, start with the base, please. Okay. I can always get closer. Is that full zoom? Oh, there is a black coral there as well. Cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you can um, go for the polyp part for the more. Nope. Oh, what Sorry, do? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Yeah, you're really soft. Ah, what did I do? She was saying just go out maybe to one of the polyps a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. And go up to the top. Like right there, maybe? Yeah, I think she just wanted a closer view of the polyp. Sure. That full zoom? Yes, full zoom. Full zoom. Okay, zoom out. I'm going to just step us closer. We'll get a better view. Scooch. Everything really There's is pink down here. There's lots of them, though. There's lots. Oh, wow, it's like in the bubble. You lost control of what? You want to zoom in the bubble? I'll get you a zoom <laughs> in the bubble. <laughs> right, zoom as much as you'd like. All the way in. Oh, uh, very nice. No. Does it go closer? Wow, what a shot. Yeah, that's great. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I can't really get closer. It's in the... That's okay. I think that's, that's really pretty. close. That's beautiful. I can turn out the lights if you want. The lasers. I got um, some good shots, I think. It's okay. I yeah, that is beautiful. Ones. Okay, you want to zoom out? I think that's good on the zoom. Thank you. Watch that. Let's look at some of these uh, whips. Like several the of those same Over ones. out to the right. Yeah.
Or in a move, yeah. The still cap, yeah, go ahead and take one. Looks like that one has some associates on it. Comes into C log. I'm not seeing anything coming up from the still cam. I'm just working through a few uh, uh, troubleshoots with the camera. That's cool. What's that? Yeah, that's really interesting. Oh, Ooh. that's cool in the still cam. Walteria, you say, Leela? Thank you much. You want to zoom in on that, Panos? Wow. They're waving their arms. What mm -hmm. happened to our lasers? Oh, I turned them off. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I'm just wondering. It wasn't a. It was intentional and not a. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes they like the big. That is a wild looking sponge. Super cool. Turn them off a little bit. Gymnastics. Yeah. That's oh, really that's cool. Lovely. Oh, what kind of sponge see. is that? I've never seen anything like it. That's a Walteria sponge, thanks to Leela's quick ID. Could you spell that for us? <laughs> I believe it's Walter IA. Okay. It's really neat. Very abstract looking. Too bad the still cam isn't working. It's not working? Oh, like I, I think they were having issues with taking uh, pictures or something like that. I thanks, know. Tim. I can, you know, if they need well, me to power cycle something, they'll, they'll let me know. More oh, that's awesome. That's great. Uh, come back, come back, uh, come back. There mm -hmm. we go. Come back to me. You can see some tracks or something on the rock in the background, too. Oh, yeah. It's like a cave drawing. So I'm assuming the hair-like things sticking out there are to trap food? I believe those are part of the tube feet. Is that right, Haisa? Are those small, are those they're the ophiroids tube feet, or are those actual more like hair-like structures? I don't know. I'm I'm not sure to be honest. Is that one like in the inside the sponge? That one brittle stuff? The white one? No, yeah, I don't think it looks so. like it. Eh? It looks like it's like straight up just in there. <laughs> Well, I got some good photos of this. We, I do remember seeing some like um, some squat lobsters or some shrimp or whatever uh, being trapped inside it a sponge because it would go in there and kind of like pick off stuff from inside mm. and it would grow around it. And I was like, oh. Let me know when we're happy or we can uh, continue on. I think we're good. No rush. Yeah, okay. And Panos, you want to zoom out? Thank you, sir. Of course. Oh, there's quite a bit around. There yeah. is, yeah. Um, looks like there is uh, a small Minidopsis at the base, Paula. Yeah. <laughs> and Paula is spotting, unfortunately. Where are you guys looking? At the base of the sponge. The one we were just looking at? Yeah. What did you say about it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, we have Paula. Paula saying there may be a uh, minidopsis. Oh, do we miss it? You can zoom in, Panos. Paula has the <laughs> eyes of a hawk <laughs> when it comes to squat lobsters. Wow. wow. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. But I saw each, but I thought it was a... Uh, well, I mean, it's I spy with you. <laughs> yeah, it looks just <laughs> like a brittle star from far away. I spy with my little eye. Pala's second favorite squat lobster. So we have a question about what these sponges might feel like to touch them. Does anybody know? Spongy? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Soft. They're kind of glassy. They mm. have little, uh, like fiberglass, little glass shards, spicules. There's yeah. a nice little, little pig. Yeah, thank you. There's a nice little view for. But the question was about yeah. the yeah. 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 work at work. Views or mm. Yeah, what is the handling field. fiberglass insulation? Meredith Everett, one of our yeah. uh, shore scientists, says. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to touch it. <laughs> and they'll make you itch. <laughs> without, gla without gloves on. <laughs> There's lots around here. 
So decidedly not spongy, I guess. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> ooh, it might be soft and squishy. Is there something else we want to quickly see here before we um, before we continue on, or are we have to stop the ship? Uh, let's look at this larger rock to the left and see what's growing on it. Kay. And uh, we don't have to stop the ship though. If you need to get out of there, go for it. Uh, not quite yet, but uh, we we are getting there. The it ship is like not currently moving. Oh, so perfect. Yeah. No, there you go. We've got all the time in the world. Atalanta is still moving, but the ship is not. Right. I actually kind of like these rocks for sampling, maybe. Hmm. Tempted. A lot of they do look loose. Branching coral over here. Oh, is that another chunky, chunky star? Oh, interesting. What's this here? Yeah, that's what kind of caught my eye too. It might have, uh, it's a coral that broke off probably. You can zoom in, Panos. It looks like these big colonies of bamboo coral, primnoids as well. Maybe sponge. Yeah, it looks like the base of a base of a coral or a sponge that is long long gone. Another black coral here. Is it, it's interesting if you we zoom we can see so many things. I know. Oh yeah, wow, the I didn't see that. I would have never seen them. Wait, what are we looking at? There's a black coral. <laughs> little black oh coral. my gosh, it's teeny. <laughs> this looks like more chrysogorgia type of uh, coral. Yeah. You can zoom out. There's a few other things to look at up on, on top of this. Wow, oh, beautiful view. What's that? Looks like a little coral garden. <laughs> so in terms of species identification, Want to zoom in on that, Panos? What would that? the experts say here? We've got a couple different morphologies. Definitely. Wow. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's a battle. <laughs> yeah, I'd I think I'm here not we the have expert. A, we <laughs> have uh, some bamboo <laughs> corals for sure. Bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. Turtle star, um, bamboo royale. And then it looks like some primnoids. This one looks like. He's got a look. They this got is him my lock. branch. <laughs> Little anemone down my below. Oh. Maybe a Is that a barnacle? Oh, yeah, oh I see it. Yeah, barnacle. Like yeah, little barnacle little yeah. The little yeah. bitty thing right there. Let's look oh, at this oh, on to the left. Yeah. yeah, there's like a barnacle. There's like a looking thing. And there's a lot of Is that on, on the that coral? coral or is that on the rock behind it? It's on the coral, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. Was that an anemone that you were saying? That little pink dot in the middle? Yeah. That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. Small one. You can see there's also like broken off coral pieces, mount like the bases at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, lots of them. Oh, I'll top them around. I have one right in front of the camera. This camp. type of branching. The How the many brittle stars is that? Two. It's down when you can I see. I think two. Yeah. Sorry, can you zoom out for a sec? I'm just getting a little close to the wall on the left. The one I think that's a good zoom. Let's, um, there's something to the left we'd like to look at though. Yeah. Okay. This, the back one looks like more uh, Calipitropher, that's a uh, primnoid. I don't know if Steve is, is there. That's what it looks like to me, yeah. This one. Take a zoom of that one, where your lasers are, please. Yeah, go ahead, Donos. Wow, beautiful. Oh man, oh look at the cam. 
It's incredible to see how many associations the we can spot with corals and millikinoderms. SPL Data Lab Triclop should be working now. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Thanks so much. Take all the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try. Oh, oh yeah. Different angle. <laughs> That's really Let's neat. Let's see the, oops. Is that a squat lobster? Is this squat lobster? On the other side oh. of the rock. Yeah, Ju I see it. Just one second. <laughs> oh no, don't move. Oh, sorry. There's another small, is that a Chrysogorgia on the right, very right? Right there, right there. Between the primnoid and so the bamboo large. coral. I think kind of roll around. Thank you. It's, it's very sensitive. Yeah, it's hard to focus, huh? Yeah, it's a very. It looks like it's a very sensitive focus. Yeah. If you can please hold, try to hold there. I, I. Jane, is come up there pictures that I'm taking. Yes. There? Yep. Yeah, I'm getting them. Great. Thank you. Are you able to push against the rock there? Hold. I'm trying to. to. Yeah. Get this. Is. No, this I doesn't. Can't. Yeah, uh, there you go. I don't. It's a t totally different ang uh, black angle. Coral. Oh yeah. yes. So there's a squat lobster down on the rock, and then a black coral as well. Yeah, if you right. look at the triclops camera, it's the squat lobster is on the left side, halfway oh, yeah. down. So if you can pan a little bit left, that would be cool. Yeah, try and we can just push it, rotate yeah, it. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to pivot along because it's found a happy spot there on the rock. Right. Try to pivot around it. Just go slow. Very cinematic. Very cinematic, yeah. And here we can see we a squat lobster. It does have a zoom. People I don't know how much more it can zoom. Yeah, though. I don't know if this. Yeah. Is it? Do you use the dial? How, I don't know how to uh, work it. Yeah, this is be the, the light. Maybe hold it in. Go ahead. We're just looking through two different camera Remember angles, blink. trying to get a good zoom of the squat lobster that we found on the other side That's of that the rock. It's near far iris. I don't know. Oh, it's just very slow. Mm. Oh, oh, stop. It keeps going. Which is a beautiful view, actually. It'd be an amazing shot here. That is well. a beautiful shot right there. Oh, now I'm zooming in again. <laughs> okay, it's a very, uh, very sensitive. Slow. Yeah, you have to. You can't push the buttons too quickly. That's a nice landscape shot, though. Even if it's not. Yeah, like it's taken in an aquarium, really. Yeah. And the viewers at home can see that that camera view yeah. angle as well. I think it's satellite oh. three. Now we will be very respond very slowly. Yeah. Well, just learn it and get used to it. It's not yeah. not too easy. <laughs> we go for this one. So if you're at nautiluslive.org, if you go to the quad view, it's down on the bottom left. So in that Chrysogorgia, is that an ophiroid or is that another squat lobster? I think on the left side. Uh, that's uh, on the right side next to the bamboo coral, the very small kind uh, of fine looking thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a great picture. I'm not sure. I think it's a brittle star that's all wound up. Okay. It's got deceptively two arms coming out. So I was excited. All right, can we? I think we we're good here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go to the other side. With there's a few things in the distance there that I don't know if you can get over there and turn yeah. back the other way. Yep. No problem. Okay. About how tall would you estimate that cropping outcropping of rocks <coughs> there to be? Yeah, it looks. Uh, it looks like it's the size of Hercules anyway, doesn't yeah. it? Um, it's about two meters tall off okay. the sand, judging by the altitude on the vehicle at the moment.
I just like the still cam's focus of you, you know? Like how quickly it just kind of shuts out the other, the back, there's like no diffusion of the light. It's a very hard light. So is autofocus either on or off, or do you, are you doing it manually? It has to be done manually. Yeah. So. It's tough, you gotta be stopped, I think. What uh, Lila mentioned is to press here, but even though take a little bit time. Okay, yeah. And if it's quick, like there is no. We're just going yeah, around. Yeah, over here where some of these uh, larger yeah. corals are. There was a question of whether Working there was a, a, a pen, a sea pen somewhere, kind of off in the distance from our previous view as well. Oh my goodness. Probably like we're Ooh. approaching uh -oh. that. Oh, we said the magic word. <laughs> well, don't quote me on it. It's just. Just the question. Right. Oh, man. I, whatever they did to the tether is amazing. Now it's not up in my face and stuff. Rock pen it's it's better. Uh, it's much better. Paula said the rock pen beside the bamboo, but which bamboo? Uh, <laughs> which bamboo? The lasers, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, cool. that's a good point. We do have one Niskin left. Um, right? We actually have two. 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 Well. Oh, good. So we can get a Niskin here and uh, save one for the last. Well, th the perspective of this camera is amazing. But yeah, once it gets focused, that camera is really incredible. Did you say you want to you want to take a Niskin here? Yeah, get set up first, though. Uh, okay. Look, look I at just this. Did you? Did you Sure so in this view, we can chance. see... Yeah, if you're ready to grab one now, if you're hovering yeah. in a good spot, it should be quick. Just, uh, it's actually a good spot to sit, so we can... Actually, I think with the Niskin, we'd like to be... Uh, you want to hover? Uh, hover, yeah. Okay. You want to take that then, Mike? Huh? Are you comfortable doing that then while I hover? Uh, which one would it be? Niskin one or two. Uh, let me see. I gotta see if I'm, if I'm cool with that. And the Niskin bottles are used to sample the water, is that correct? Correct. To capture our environmental I DNA, eDNA. Niskin too, that's a top one. I can try, I've never done a Niskin. And also, um, I think there was but some possibility try. of yeah, looking yeah, at it for aragonite. Go for it, buddy. Oh, okay. Saturation. Yeah, I'm gonna need the, the, the camera though. Oh. Yeah, there's enough volume of water that we can filter it for the eDNA, eDNA and also have other uh, water left over for other studies. All right, I'll surely give it a try. I'll turn on the valve here. No, don't do it. Not yet. Oh. Yeah, I was struggling with that. It was giving me uh, a bit of a headache. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you're ready and I'll give you a valve. I'll turn on the valve. Yeah, if we can turn on the grab and then rack it in, rack in the camera. Yep. Valve on, camera coming back. It's coming, here we go. Okay, uh, do you want me to look at the other arm with the camera? Uh, yeah, you're going to have to follow me with the arm. Just so I know I'm not hitting anything. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the downlight. Okay. You already have the craft all though? Yeah, okay. I'm ready to follow you.
can you, oh yeah, we can see it with the big cam, okay. We're getting a nice close up here as we are taking a water sample from Hercules. That's not what I want you to grab. <laughs> <laughs> it's the claw. I don't like this whole wide open deal. Uh oh. This definitely looks like a game we might play. It's number was it number one? Two, I thought. So one or one two. Or two oh, is fine. Okay, sorry. Two is fine. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> weird. Uh, uh. You see, you need to get it with the yeah, inner one. You must be really good at the uh, arcade games. I was just thinking that. Have you ever won a stuffed animal from one? Probably not the first time they've heard that. <laughs> if, it, if you're using continuous mode, sometimes you can't get around that that 360 point. You'll have to put it into rocker and use the and use the rocker. Oh my goodness. How do they do this? Almost there. There you got it. Ready? Yep. Oh no! <laughs> uh oh. It popped off. Oops. It's we lost it. Did Sorry. it snap? I mean, did the uh, bottle close? Two, three, yes, four, it does. five. Yes, it closed. Okay. Get this out of the way. So. Well done. Those are. I don't know if I like these new ones. That's a hard. Uh, that's a hard grab, with those jaws especially. Well yeah, done. I prefer when they had the. Uh, they had hoops, little ropes. Yeah. Because you, you didn't have ropes to grab anything. Ropes or, or uh, um, like a monkey's fist or something. Yes. Yeah. Can you, do you mind uh, rotating the jaws? 90, yeah, they're 90 degrees. And so the, it opens sideways to the arm. You know what I say? Yeah. Make sure I got it right. Okay. Is that a good place for it? Yep, that's Thank fine. Uh, just rotate the jaw, please, because when you hit hydraulics, it opens automatically. Yeah, it's, that's 90, right? No, 90, 90 degrees out. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Because the fingers right now, if it opens, will open into a, into right, the shoulder. Right, right. I thought that was looking. Yeah, just like that. That's perfect. Parallel to the porch. Parallel to the porch. All right, well done. All right, I think we can be done with this little outcrop and um, move on to the next one. Roger uh, that. If you can look to your left and see what's in the distance. Thank you for that. Um, Not really sure if there's anything out there to without the sonar. Is the, do we have a sonar that's mounted lower on the porch? No. Uh, no. No. We used to have an orbit. Yeah. Do you want to try to continue oh, to follow this rocky bit to the right? 
Yeah, I think that oh, wow. sounds good. If you need to do a ship move, that'll yeah, be cool. Sure. We have about 45 minutes left. Let's see. We're just exploring. What's that? Looks like a big a sponge, maybe? Bridge now. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very tall. Can we have five zero meters, one three zero, please? Thank you. Oh, I have coffee. I forgot to make myself. Oh my gosh, one. I do too. It's a tragedy. <laughs> Don't forget about the coffee. I forget how fun it is to play with the craft. I mean, like, make my one at home or something. That'd be fun. You can zoom in, Panos. Is that how you practice, James, with a craft arm? Do you what? make one at home and kind of, like, <laughs> practice, like, feeding yourself cereal or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, <laughs> malfunction and punch you in the face. <laughs> well, That'd be so terrifying. Obviously, you have, like, PPE. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you need it. <laughs> Welding masks. And yeah, try to take a look in, inside to see if uh, there's any other critters living in there. Oh, it is open. Can we zoom out, please, Panos? I don't know if we can tell. Is that open to the current? I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm, try yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything, like any indicators. I think we would uh -huh. assume that it would be open to the current. But yeah, go. but nature is weird, you know? Yeah. <laughs> It's like a little carriage. Yeah. It's like a little garage. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, it's starting to look a little bit more right, like a base now, in. though. I'm seeing some owl eyes in there. Yeah. It looks more like a snout. Hmm. Yeah. I can like see a dog that nose. Too. Like a casting. Yeah. That was like a mold. There you go. Not a casting. <laughs> Oh, there's a little like a, brittle, like a brittle star or something coming climbing up it. Uh, I think that's on something behind it on the coral Another bamboo. It. Oh, is that oh. behind it? Oh, yeah. I think it was on top on this one. That's a good picture. They're not home. Is this one similar to the glass sponge that we saw earlier? Same type of texture. I don't know. Hi, we would like to talk to you about home you owners. We, we definitely saw one. I uh, saw a couple of these. About 10 centimeters long, maybe 12. Is that the black hole. coral behind right it? it? Now that we're it's talking fiberglass, I don't think it would be a nice place to take a nap, but it kind of looks like a nice, cozy little spot. Seems kind of itchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, working with fiberglass is not cool. The worst. No. I my first time was like I th yeah. I did all the dumbest things. I don't know. Yeah. I took a, like a sander yeah, to it. This. It's like hours later, you're like, why am I still itching my hands? Uh, it's pretty cool. Beautiful. That's a really good zoom right there. Ooh, even better. Looks like What's it's that? staring at me. Yeah, I wanted you to uh, pass underneath now that you're in front of me. I'm not quite sure if this is a professional sponge, as they've been referring to the other ones. Ah, but face looks so much more happier. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're good with the zoom here, guys. Thanks. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep following this uh, sponge. rubble field around. Oh, nice triclops image. Thank you. <coughs> Is that an anemone on the rock? Just out, about that to go is, out of frame? Yeah. Looks like it. Let me take a quick look. Oh. Looks like a happy anemone. So Asaku was mentioned that uh, Bolosoma sponge, the one that we are seeing. What did they say about the sponge? 
That's from the genus uh, Bolosum. Oh, so nice. Close up. Yep, and we're seeing more more coral, coral around, around it. Uh, oh, that one's pretty. Oh, this so cute. Is that a tiny little so black coral? Exactly. Yeah. <gasps> wow, look at the. You can really see the um, tentacles on the uh, anemone. That's lovely. So, what, what and does the anemone another black eat? coral here as well. And another here. And the deep sea. The small one can be a. Umbelopatis. There is the umbe umbelula for sea pen and umbelopatis for it black coral. Is that a sea pen? No. Oh. But uh, just I was saying there is similar names because the shape of the colony oh. with the, the terminal uh, polyps at the distal part of the colony. That is now my favorite word, umbelula. <laughs> That's a very nice. Umbelubalaga. <laughs> very nice sounding word. We have a we have a message in the chat about the last sponge. It was Jack the skeleton. Oh, I could see that. Oh yeah. All right, are we happy with that? Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Nice. We are continuing our exploration at two thousand one hundred and fifty-four meters on a small isolated peak seamount southeast of Johnston Atoll. Our chat is open, so feel free to submit any questions. And this dive will probably continue for about another 30 minutes. Side views are my best. Oh, like, I love the side views of her. As we're just exploring around on the top of the seamount. like the rocks are a lot more scattered here. So Dwight, are we still aiming to get back to waypoint six or are we just kind of hanging uh, out? No, I'm following, kind the, of moving around? following the terrain, yeah. There's nothing magical about where waypoint six is. It's just a random spot. Okay. Looks like there's yeah. another sponge over there to the right. Against the rocks over there. Mm -hmm. it might have enough to get there. Maybe not. We'll get there. Yep, in Chilly. the chat with someone connected it also to that ET sponge that we've seen before. It's uh, interesting, very interesting to see when you change a little bit the substrate of the outcrop, when you have more hard substrate, you have much more diversity. Mm. Mm. And um, here where we are going to have more sparse and mixed Bridge now. Um, we have a different community. Well, it can be similar species, but um, there you see they are house aggregating an area. Is it more just to be able to, to connect to something and, and stay in one spot? I think most of them, they manage... Can we work our way sort of more left? Yep. Uh, most of them, they they are adapted to attaching hard substrate. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like a pretty big boulder in front of us. If we can explore yeah. that a little bit. Yeah, no problem. Just waiting for uh, Adelante yeah. to catch us. A little bit stretched out. Gotcha. Oh, boy. When you're saying you're stretched out from each other, are you watching the tether in the in the film, or are you or in the camera, or are you? Um, I'm kind way? of. I'm looking at our 2D distance on nav, and then looking at our delta depth, our our depth differences. Okay. Um, sometimes it looks it looks like it's slack. Um, like right now it is. It's not pulling on me, um, but it'll snap tight pretty quick.
push. Oh, let's see here. I'm curious if there's such a thing as like an ROV driver's license, yeah. <laughs> like a certificate it's you get with your face license. on it. No, it looks there's a fish. I always take the bad picture. The <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Would you take the picture crazy. of like it would be of you or of the thing you're driving? Well, just like a driver's license. Next to it's the like thing you're driving. Does your driver's license have a picture of a car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least in Autotopia. <laughs> <laughs> Do we uh, know what that fish is? Yeah. Oh, they come up with that. We've seen several cusp eels so far, so I'm wondering if that's another. I do know some places that do um, ROV like training for like boot camp type stuff. Do but, like, they give you a license to keep it in your wallet? Like a certification. Yeah. Cool. There's a school in Newfoundland. Yeah, there's. A it's like geared towards oil and gas. Well. It's, it's geared towards oil and gas, so they don't. So it's a yeah. little bit different. I know there's some in uh, San Diego, maybe, I think. Either through the UC or... Um, How much could we zoom on that fish? You can zoom away, Panos. See if That'd we can get some good headshots. Hangs out for a little while. We'll or? get a little bit more stable as Adelaide comes closer oh, wow. to us. Nice. Oh, Amazing. look at the dealies underneath. Do we know what this is? I do not. Oh, hello. What? What? Almost reminds me of a catfish with those those whiskers. Yeah, they are coming up at an angle. It seems. Oh, wasn't that one eye? It's just taking. A it's hard meander. because I don't think we're very stable, and the fish itself is not very stable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fish is like, get those lights away from me. I'm gonna see if I can track down that fish species really hey, quick. Where are you going? No, come back to us. It was very nice and dark a minute ago until you came around. Cool. We didn't want to look at you anyway. <laughs> I think I might have gotten. Rock, well, you want to keep following? See, that the might fish. be wishful thinking. Uh, I got, got some good shots of him. Of okay. it. Yeah. Thank Man. you, Jane. <laughs> Hard habit to break. It's okay. Do the best we can. Man, I forget how how good like zoom uh, Zeus's zooms are. Oh, there's a tug. Yeah, it's um. I don't want to go down too much because it looks like we're on the incline. No, I'm gonna come back up towards you. Wow, well, this view from this camera it's fantastic. Looks like the closer we get to the rocks, the more we see, right? Yeah. This might be a good spot to look for our final rock collection of the dive. Let's take wow, a look there's around. there's a lot on that one. Something loose near the base that we can fit in s slot B. Yes, we have <laughs> starboard B available. So something relatively small. Oh, these aren't too too bad, maybe. How about the size but of the jaws, maybe. If you can get the uh, lasers on on them. Are you talking about to the one to the left? Uh, that looks a little too big. Too big. Uh, uh, like center left. Uh, and that one. Yeah, that's. Do you think meters. that's too big? That's about 12. As long as it's 15. oblong, it should slide in. 15, maybe. Can we zoom on it? Yeah, go ahead, Thomas. Am I swinging still? I think I am. Looks a little Eight. squishy, as Rob would say. Yeah, I was going to say, is that a squishy black or coral? crunchy? It looks very good. It's got a black coral on it. Yes. I think that fish may have been a moridae. Is that a lobster up to the right? Oh, yeah. Squat lobster. Oh, wow. Paula, uh, we found another one. What do you guys think? Looks too big to fit in. Uh, um, I don't know. If you could get it. You can try. Are you guys okay with a collection like this that has the uh, corals on it? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, let's try to keep the corals on it too. Okay. Can we zoom out, Bonos? Gotta get the vehicle a little closer. Might be a little too. Uh, I think it's too big. Yeah, just looking from the, but like it might just be distorted because of the one on the still cam because right. it looks. It's probably bigger than it seems. Yeah. Because I was just looking through the still cam. It's right possible. It yeah. Is it gonna sit here? Okay. There's another rock here that has a coral on it. That's smaller. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Would you prefer that one? Yeah. You want to zoom in on it? I yeah, that would be good if you could. Looks like a black coral, maybe. You want to zoom in? This one. When they zoom, I will be able to, to see better. Doesn't look like. Okay, pause. It might be attached. Zoom. Mm. No, it's not a black coral. No. Looks like more bamboo coral. Yeah, bamboo. I think you're right. Yep, I see it. Okay, we like that no, one. No, but it's, it's yeah, it's also. Okay. I'll zoom okay, up on yeah, us. that looks like a good sample to me. If you guys can, it could be attached though, so. See if we can move it around. Do you want to try or you want me to do it? Uh, I don't care. You're okay? Like you want to try? Uh, no, not with the coral on it. I don't uh. want to be responsible for that. <laughs> so much responsibility. So much responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, valve, here we go. Especially since we're kind of still swinging, you know. I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, you should be fine. You don't need it. Are we going to want a, like a picture spin, a showcase? So we're here at 2,157 meters taking a sample of a rock. Hopefully. Coral. I think we said it was a bamboo coral growing on top. You want to zoom? Uh, yes, please. Can you zoom in there, Panos? That might be attached. Mm. Yeah. Oh, get there. Hold on, I'm trying to give you some more slack. Almost there. Oh. Oh. No, it's look moving. Look at that. Ah, okay, there we go. Okay. Got the scope. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay. Yeah. Kind of is interesting, makes you think about the strength of the current because it didn't take very much for us to move that rock. That looks... Could we, um, before we put it into a bio box, get some slow spins so I can take some in-situ photos? A yeah. nice little showcase. Give me a second here, I'll try to put it in front of the camera. It looks like Hercules is picking us another flower. Downlight is on. Nice. It's got some sort of mucusy something on the other side as well. No. Oh no. Oh, no. More yeah. Oh dear. Do we still want it? Too many spins. Oh. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's take it. That's good. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I had to get the spins in. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me. Let's um, see that was. Okay, no, we're, um, okay, oh. I'm just going to hold this and we're going to get out of here because the vehicle's not staying put. Okay. Yeah, I'm being t uh, tugged in two directions. Pretty far behind you. And I'm pretty sure there's an incline. Yes, there is. If we're lucky, we might be able to even pick up that coral and put it back into the box. More stable area to be able to put our rock sample. 
Uh, no. James, you were just moving us to more stable ground, right? Um, I was, yes. Um, but the reason we were moving is because Atalanta got spun around. Oh, uh, okay. So now we're tail to tail again and not... Uh, we lost the coral. Yeah. We lost. So I'm just backing up to close the distance because the tether comes out of the aft of this vehicle. And once we have the scope, I'll turn around and we'll get in a good orientation and then I'll put this in the box. Yeah, if you can... We got also got... Like we're totally one wrapped. Yes. Yeah. That's so why I want to give. I don't want to. So we want to. Uh, you want to come up to the right. Port. Uh, Sorry. Starboard, I think. Yeah. S yeah. Because for me, it's. Uh, let's see. I still don't think I've got the scope. Yeah. So you want to come. Uh, starboard. Yeah. Yeah, starboard put the positive wraps in, and it was negative 1.1 1 .1 or something, so yeah. there we go. <coughs> kind of lateral and catch up. You want to come down with me? Uh, yeah. go more to the lateral port. Yeah, I'm going to have to go more east. I see you. These lasers are looking like some green eyes looking back at us. Okay, I want to go any more than that. I think if you can try to get like here. Yes, yeah. I'm trying to lateral. It won't let me turn. Mm -hmm. It's really tight coming okay. up the back. We're getting there. I'm coming into view. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're still quasi underneath me, but that's okay. Yeah, we've got a little bit of ways to go. We're going to leapfrog you. Then we'll sit down and put this in the box. Slingshot. Engage. Slingshot. Burst at last. Oh, actually, since I'm here, I'm going to take control of the bubble real quick. I want to see. How do you feel about just doing this on the fly? Uh, you, I can you, try. you want to put it in the box? I can try. No promises. Um, it is indexed right now. Do not press the button until you're ready. We've got our pilots trading off down there. Okay. And I can continue to get into a better position with um, which... Uh, you want the sampling 
Yeah. Okay. That's gonna have to be the All right, one. you ready? Yeah. No, um. Starboard bio box B, please. B as in boy. Okay. Let me get the camera real quick. This is kind of cool. It's uh, <laughs> by box B, that is second from aft, yeah? Good place to s stop. Or is that second from the uh, forward? It's, uh, uh, watch your sponge. Second your from sponge. the front. Is the sponge coming out? The sponge is coming oh, out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> Oops. Yeah, but that was a bad idea. It was because it's a verts. Our Maybe sponge. we can grab it again in a second, but. That was the stuck. one that let itself into the box. No, it let itself out. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Easy Where come, easy go? go, right? I think we'll be able to find it, maybe. Or maybe not so easy come. <laughs> can we put the box back in, please? Or put that in there and we can close it? Uh, I'll put it back. I'll close it. Let you get settled. like a little and that thing was almost neutrally buoyant so maybe we should have put it underneath a rock yeah you didn't see where it went did you it's long it kind of went underneath us it's right there yeah. oh, oh yeah oh, there it is yeah can you put the rock on the porch and grab that i can most certainly try you try to slurp it um, i was I told that it has a coral stuck in it or something is okay. that I, I don't I don't know if that's true. Yeah, and honestly you guys this this rock sample isn't really that great. So a little bit. There's so many rocks. It's important to try to get that sponge back. Uh, I'm gonna drop it then. Yeah. That's yeah? fine. You're yeah. yeah, yeah, you're fine. Or just keep it on the porch if you want. But. Uh, put it on the porch for now, yeah. We can decide. Let's see if we can get the uh, sponge back. But the slurp, it won't slurp, huh? It's gonna just float again, that's the problem. You can drop it there, I think, yeah, that's great. Okay. Coral 23 stuck in hose is it? what I have. Top notes. center? Yeah, Kay. thank you. Where'd it go? Okay. Don't hesitate, man. You When you're ready, you grab it. Because I, I, as soon as I get close. Some nice teamwork going on. Okay, I try to get you closer. Stay there. Down, coming down. There you go. Close, close. Come up, come up. Snag it, snag it. Oh, I want to get it's, okay, it's, all right. it's, all right. it's fine. It's all right. I don't like these jaws. Me neither. It's okay. We'll get it. All right, it's underneath you. I think it's, it escaped you. So floaty. Yeah, okay, hold on. We'll just let the current do its thing. I won't add any thrust. Maybe we'll see it again. There, there it go. is. All right, coming down. Got it. No. Can't park park the ROV? Yeah. Do I need to do that? Sorry, okay, you want to uh, let's try to stow the arm. And then we'll uh we'll park it. There it is. Okay. 
I'm gonna try again. Okay, go right for it. I'll uh, I'll take the tray out for you. You want to disable that thruster? Yeah, you might want to disable. Yes, that thruster. yeah, we will. I can, okay, I'm gonna turn off this, uh, this vertical. Give it a second, let the. All right. Also trying to get the, whatever the, the I think it's I was risk. struggling with that too. Yeah. That's what I need. Not yet. I want to make sure that's not not like gonna fling open. Go into A or B. Oh, now nah, it doesn't want to do anything I wanted to do. Just let it go. Mm. Can you elbow up and wrist down? No. I'll have to do it out here. No. Come on. I think I'm upside down. I think I'm losing the plot. Yeah, I'm losing it. Yeah, you want to get it? I've lost the plot. Yeah, I, I'm like all disoriented now. So I had the grip lock on, but I don't trust it when you turn it on, so. So if you want to make sure it's back on.
heart it stuck on it there. It wants to float away. There you go. Nice. Go down. Oh, no. It's okay. It might. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. It's Sorry, nice. guys. This is <sighs> not easy. It's like super buoyant. Do you still have a grip on it, or is your grip open? Uh, yeah. Maybe just let it go and hope it sinks. The last time it it can it can go into down. that bio box. If that's the only one that it goes into, that's fine. The last time it seemed uh, like it fell back down after a minute. I think all we have in these starboard I boxes are rocks, other than this. Oh wait, we have a coral associate somewhere, but. Let it fall. Let it let fall. Let it go. Ah. It can go in any of this. I mean, at this point, we're just going to close, close it. Yeah, I think it'll fall if we let it go. Nice work. Oh, good job. That's it. Ooh. I tend to hold my breath. I mean, we have the bird off. We can get a rock now. <laughs> Well, I don't want to mess this up, but if you want to leave the drawer open and just grab something in front of you and yeah, throw yeah. it in, that's fine with me. Yeah, we were just like, it settled nicely, the starboard's off, might as well just get a rock. We lost the one on the porch. Oh yeah, get the one on the porch. Might actually help keep the sponge in there if you put it on top. I don't know if that's going to damage the oh, tissue yeah. too much. I'll get but you over here from the porch. Uh, oh, yeah. There it is, can you see it? Jenny, what's the sample ID for the, the rock? Uh, what number was the sample ID for the rock? Yeah. The rock was going to be 043. Oh. Jane, there's a question in the chat Thank asking you. about the process that, that occur to preserve the samples. So after we bring the sponge up, what will happen in the wet lab? So we'll take some photos of it, some Hopefully nice don't grab a plate. high res photos. Which we um, might have to do anyway, right? And then we will store it in ethanol and send it to the Museum of Comparative Zoology to have some second opinions and such on it. Um, get some really, you know, more detailed identification procedures. Um, and I believe if there's any subsamples taken, they could be stored in other chemicals depending on where it's going. Some samples we just dry if they're large. So there's a black coral the other day that we collected that was too large to really fit into a large ethanol container, so we decided to dry that instead. Um, but either way, you're just trying to preserve it as much as possible in order to send it off to the experts. Is one process of preservation better than the other, or are they pretty much the same? That is something I that think they just have different purposes. No, oh, yeah. I don't know. Depending on what's going to be done with it later. Right, yeah. And also you're, you're okay with it having being in B? Depends on the organism. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, if you can get it in A, that'll be better, I think. Was a it, well, a there was something else in A, wasn't there? A, was a has just a... Yeah, there is a rock in A. Uh, better to put it in B if possible. B. Sorry, I got distracted. Might want to turn it a little bit. I'll keep the sponge in there, too. One. Wrist, uh, turn your wrist a bit. Yeah. It, it 
it might. If it doesn't, it'll just. It. Oh, I can pop it. I could pop out a bit more. <laughs> what, what is going in the on? World, that really is a squishy rock. <laughs> oh my goodness! Get off of my What's hand! What? You want to? <laughs> oh, I actually can't get it off. <laughs> squishy or sticky or both? It's caught, it probably caught. just got caught in the yeah. little grips. Oh, okay. It's gonna go. Nice. Yay! Yay! How about that for timing? Nice job. I only had to change one of my records, too. <laughs> OK. Should we pop the last Niskin? Do we do a background Niskin? We still have, uh, I'll check in a second. Hang on. We have one Niskin left, though. Might as well. You can just grab it while we're, while we're sitting here. It's fine. Yeah. This is like the, oh my god, man. They're so slow at depth. Correct. Currently at 2,168 meters. So do I tell you? Yeah, yeah. I think you there's describe. a picture. Uh, yeah, so let me put down light. We have our scientists here in the control van with us, but we are also chatting with scientists all over the world. Uh, that light is on, so I'm sorry if you can't see it. It's the purple one. The one above, the one I broke. That's probably the way to do it. Uh, you could try with the other one, like if you rotate around. That's what I should have done. I think it popped. Did it pop? I'm taking one more water sample. Coming up on the end of the stack. I think it did. Soon. Yeah, I think it did. I think it popped. It looked like it popped, I think. It's hard to say. Data, is that number four four? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it popped, it popped, it popped, it popped. Oh, yeah, that Uh-oh, we turned the lights out. Oh, yeah, do we have to... I guess we have to start coming up, yeah? It's time. It's closing time. <laughs> Jane, was that you again? No, that was not me, actually. Oh. That was me. I think, unless you're, I'm assuming you know the closing time reference. Yeah, the song. Yes, yeah. that was me. Jane likes to sing very quietly. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to say that, yeah. Eventful 20 minutes, okay. 